Welcome to another video and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Sony NEX F3 mirrorless camera. A mirrorless camera is very similar to a modern DSLR camera except that it has no optical viewfinder. However, it still has the same APS-C size sensors that you'll find in full-size DSLR cameras. This particular model has a 16.1 megapixel sensor. If we take a look around the camera itself, you won't find many buttons on the outside of the device. Up top we have the on off switch along with the playback and movie record buttons. On the back of the camera you'll find the two function buttons along with the scroll wheel which is used to navigate the menus. So the screen flips up 180 degrees which is ideal for taking self portraits. It also tilts downwards slightly which is good for low angle shots although I would have liked to have seen it tilt down a little bit more because it doesn't actually tilt down much at all. So the F3 is a little bit bigger than the previous model from Sony, although this does actually work to its advantage because it now has a slightly bigger grip, which is a little bit nice to hold and gives you a nice firm grip on the camera. It feels very nice to hold even though it's a very small camera. And of course all the controls are easily accessible just using your right hand. There are a number of different shoot modes on the camera. There's three different auto modes, program auto, intelligent auto and superior auto. There's of course different scene mode for sport shooting, sunset, night portraits. There's a lot of different uh, scene settings there which can be quite useful for someone who's not used to using the camera. There is also an anti-motion blur mode and of course a sweep panorama along with a 3D sweep panorama which can be viewed on a 3D TV. You can assign the bottom function button and the right click on the scroll wheel for different functions. As you can see here I have set the button at the bottom to control the focus point and I've also set the right click on the D-pad to change the ISO settings. These buttons can be customized to do a myriad of different functions and it can be very useful when in the manual modes. Of course here I am in aperture priority so I can change the f-stop using the scroll wheel as you can see at the bottom of the screen. The camera does have a pop-up flash which can be accessed by pressing the small button on the back and it can also be tilted back using your finger to create a bounce flash. So the image quality from this camera is fantastic. You probably expect that because it uses a 16.1 megapixel APS-C size sensor. I found that using the auto modes, nine out of 10 of the shots that I took turned out as expected and only the odd one or two were out of focus. And of course I did use the manual mode a few times along with the aperture priority mode and it proved very useful. I could take some very, very good photos with this camera. All of the sample images I'm showing here were taken with the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. Sony is also a very solid performer when it comes to ISO and low light performance. You can shoot up to 3200 ISO and the images are still pretty clean with only slight noticeable noise when you zoom right in. The built-in flash is also a pretty decent performer too. This image here was taken with the flash. I angled the flash upwards so it bounced the light off the ceiling and the room was pretty dim, almost dark when I took this photo so it does show that the flash is actually a useful addition to the camera. The camera is also very good at colour rendition and all of the photos I took came out looking very natural. The only complaint I have about the performance of the camera is that the autofocus is a little bit slow but thankfully the manual focus is very good on the included lens so you can go ahead and use that if you are used to it or you know how to use it. And of course when you do a manual focus it does zoom in on the screen a little bit so you can actually perfectly fine tune the focus and that's a great feature. Of course you can turn that off in the options if you don't like it. The video mode on the Sony NEX F3 is pretty decent too. The only issue or complaint I have about the video mode is that the autofocus is quite slow and often it will kind of hunt in and out of focus. And while it's doing this you can actually hear it on the audio track with the inbuilt microphones. Also when you zoom in off manual focus, this also is picked up by the microphone. Again a little bit annoying, it could be solved by buying an external microphone but you only have the option of the official Sony microphone on this camera. So overall I think this camera is a very solid performer, the image quality is great and once you get used to the controls it can be quite easy to use the manual modes and of course the auto modes perform very well indeed so if you're not bothered about the manual modes and you're not really sure how to use a camera in that way then don't worry about that because the auto modes work just perfectly fine. So if you've used a high-end DSLR before you might be a little bit frustrated with this camera because a lot of the controls are within the menu and not on the screen so it can be a little bit fiddly at times to get around the controls. However I think this camera is really aimed at people who are stepping up from compact cameras and want a little bit more functionality and better image quality than a standard compact camera and of course because this has the larger sensor and the interchangeable lenses it does give you that extra functionality and that improved image quality. 
For a similar amount of money to what this camera costs, you could buy a Nikon D3200 SLR camera. This is a much better camera, obviously, it's got a better image sensor and it's got a better selection of lenses and things. But of course, it's a much heavier camera also and the lenses are much bulkier too. So the Sony is a really great choice if you're looking for a good mirrorless camera. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Awesome.